Okay. All right. In order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. This is Action Jackson, motivational speaker, life coach for young people. I've just been on my run and some of my students, because we've been motivating kids in the UK to do better for the last 16 years. And I like to use my life as a living example for them to follow. Three mile run, 45 push-ups, another three mile run, yeah? Watch this, in order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. Revision today will determine my results tomorrow. Thank you, run baby, run, I'm loving it, yeah? Our students need to get this idea out of their head that they think they can get to the finishing line by not putting in any work. Shut up and revise, that's my response. Oh, I still want to be on Snapchat and I still want to be on Facebook and pass my exams. It don't work out that way. To all the teachers watching, please share with them an instant in your life where you had to go over the top. Come on now. Think about those sleepless nights at uni that you had to put through in order to get through. So here's the phrase. In order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. In order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. In order to get to the top, need to go over the top. Ah. Now, in order to get to the top, you need to go. What does it mean? The price is worth the sacrifice. We've only a couple of weeks left of your exams. What are you doing? A lot of them in your classroom, you're going to have the eagles, the chickens, and the ostrich. You don't even see them. They're disconnected. Which, what kind of students do you have? Yeah? The eagles, they're on it, they're flying high. The chickens, they just, they want to do well, but they're just like flapping all over the place. And then the ostrich, oh man, bless them. They're, so, they're scared, so they bury their head in the sand. So in order to get to the top, we need to go over the top. But there was one thing I said to a group of year 11s the other day. I said, listen, not everyone's going to get an A in all the subjects, but you're going to get an A in a subject that you found strength in. And that's very, very important. Yeah, find your strength, find your lane and stay there. If you do your absolute best, you can forget the rest. In order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. In order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. So for all the teachers watching, thank you so much for this, for what you're doing, for our kids. It's not easy. I mean, I think teachers themselves need a bit of motivation because it's not easy having to drag these sometimes unwilling participants apathetic individuals <laughs> across the finishing line. I mean, I'm doing this for you, not for me. But somehow you feel like I owe you something. I know what I owe you, a slap. <laughs> I owe you a slap, you better get to some work. Um, but here's, here's the reality of it. Um, they all, if you, if you ask them, they all wanna do well. Everybody wants to do well, but with the distractions, because what happens is they have gotten so hooked on distractions and distractions has actually uh, fragmented their ability to focus and stay with the task for a considerable level of time. Every time they're on the phone, there's a chemical in their brain called dopamine that's released. Anything that releases the dopamine, you're hooked on it. And if that thing is a short-term activity, your brain gets used to just concentrating on short-term activity. If revising releases dopamine, they'll get hooked on dopamine. So our job is to somehow connect them to a helpful future. So I got a year 11 girl to write down 21 reasons why she wants to pass her exams and the benefit it's going to give her now and forevermore. It was so deep that we linked it to her becoming a millionaire and donating money to charity in Africa. She lit up. She lit up. It was amazing. So guys, I'm going to get back to my run. Okay. Thank you for joining me. And here's a quote. In order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. In order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. Stop making stupid excuses. My name is Action Jackson from the Fix Up team. And my message to all the students is this. Shut up and revise. Because revision today will determine your results tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha! In order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. And here's the thing, right? Watch this. Just enough is not more. Just enough is not enough. More than enough is good enough. In order to get to the top, you need to go over the top. So yeah, for anyone watching, if you like what you hear, 
Go on my Facebook, uh, my Twitter timeline. I've got a whole bunch of other videos. Follow the Fix Up team on Twitter. And um, we do assemblies and workshops in schools and stuff. And it's always fun, man. We get to pick on all your students and clap them outside their ear, you know, <laughs> to just get them going. So if you're interested in all of that stuff, I've got some free videos that I'd like to send to you, um, <coughs> excuse me, as a teacher and as a resource tool to help you inspire the kids. So if you want to get your free videos now, just message me on my Twitter. I'll add you if I'm not already following you and I'll send you the link. There's six videos I'm going to send you that you can use in tutor time and form time. Okay. Name is Action Jackson. Let me get back to my workout. Peace, love and cheesecake. Love you. Bye.